Comeback Race fans, tonight the Downforce Racing Series, Season 14, Round Number 4, takes to the Community Swimming Pool of Iowa. And I, I love to call the races at the track, but I don't like racing here. A lot of people like the track. A lot of people hate it. Well, let's see here who likes it the most tonight. Myself, Joshua Medlock. I didn't know if my brother was going to join us here tonight, but he has decided to show up. So, Jeremy Medlock in the booth with me tonight. Jam Squared is in the chairs, bub. Yep. Uh, you have helped me call an owl race before. I mean, I know you're still getting used to the process. And like any other track, I do think tires are yet going to be another key here. Uh, but it's unlimited tire sets and 100% fuel, so. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, uh, so, you know, unless you pull an Austin uh, <laughs> and decide not to pit, then you might have enough fuel to make it. Sorry, Austin, I just had to bring that up for you, but. <laughs> yeah, he ran out of gas uh, last yeah. week Big at last. Chicago land, so I watched the ending of that one. And hopefully they don't go swimming this week, so. Was it Chicago land he ran out of fuel, or was it Michigan? Oh, let me let me double check. Because yeah, Vinny Vinny May asked us one last uh, last it was, week. It was Chicago Land. Oh, okay, okay. Vinny May asked us one last week, and also one at Michigan. Yeah. So, I, I, well, I don't remember which one it was, but he he ran a guess one of them. I think it was Michigan, because I think I actually called that race. So, and we wasn't here last week due to the severe weather that was. Oh, in that's the right. Area, so, uh, but. Benny May Estes looking to go back to back to back. Right now, the back to back winner, the number 70 of Vidya, sitting in fifth place here in practice. Now, got the pre race analytics pulled up here already. An air temp of 65, a track temp of 65, 140 total laps. We're going to be able to put in about two laps a minute, roughly. So, yeah, it should go by pretty quick. If you're hearing some bubbling, people, that is my brother making coffee. So yeah, sorry about that. That is not a water ball, just letting you know. Uh, <laughs> 210 total miles. Like I said, no tire limits, 100% fuel. Now, pit road could be treacherous as well, 40, 40 miles an hour pit road speed. So, we are going to have to see if – the drivers get caught speeding down or off of pit road. That could be a treacherous spot here tonight. As always, now pay speed is a 50. Now we got about, oh, three and a half minutes left here. We're going to go ahead and dive into the point standings. They get 10 minutes in qualifying and four laps. So we got plenty of time. Uh, Jeff Hollingsworth, after last week, Chicago land, he is going to be in the top spot here, moving up at 158. So he is our current points leader coming in to tonight. PK, Paul Crumride, down a spot into second at 150, eight behind Jeff. Kevin Gunther up a spot into third at 137, 21 behind the leader and 13 behind Paul. Vinny Maestas now up into fourth. Up seven spots from his back-to-back -back victories at 118. He is 40, though, behind Jeff and 19 behind Kevin. But, that I mean, that gap there does not matter. Uh, we've got plenty of races left to go to see what happens. Austin Williams down two spots into fifth at 116, 42 behind the leader and two behind Benny. Terry Adams, or in over fist, in the sixth spot at 110. 48 behind the leader and six behind Austin. Dave Hunt in that seventh position at 104. 54 behind the leader and six behind Terry. Michael Whitaker in, uh, down three in the eighth at 102. 56 behind the leader and two behind Dave. Ryan Patty up five, cracking the top ten and ninth. At 100 even, 58 behind the leader and two behind Michael. And Charlie Woods is also going to be up five spots, cracking the top 10 in 10th at 88. 70 behind the leader and 12 behind Ryan. Lonnie Barrington down a spot in 11th at 87. 71 behind the leader and one behind Charlie. Tristan uh, Perrine, or Perrine, uh, up four 
into 12 at 84 points, 74 behind the leader and three behind Lonnie. Thomas Taylor down a spot into 13th at 77, 81 behind the leader and seven behind Tristan. Corey Moore up three spots into 14th at 70 even, 88 behind the leader and seven behind Thomas. And Mr. Anderson, John, is gonna be up five spots, cracking the top 15 in 15th at 67 C. Why is the C in there? I have no earthly idea. <laughs> So 67 Celsius there for uh, Mr. John Anderson at 91, uh, at, uh, 91 behind the leader and three behind Corey. And Mr. Bob, Robert uh, Bob of uh, Lacavara is going to be down eight spots in the 16th at 66 points, 92 behind the leader and one behind John. So still fairly close in the point standings. We are going to go ahead, of course, and step away and play the national anthem provided by Addison Rising. So hang tight, folks. Qualifying will be underway. And then we come back, and I do have to fix stuff here because it <laughs> is ugly. Um, watch it. halfway off the screen now. There we go. All right, well, hang tight, folks. We will be right back after the National Anthem.
This is Rio of Madison Rising, and you're watching Max Speed TV. Alrighty, folks, we are back qualifying for the most part is pretty much over with. We do have Jeff Hollingsworth still out on the track. He just took his final lap. That is gonna put him up in second with that lap. Austin Williams, though, up in the top spot here in qualifying. Mike Whitaker, Daniel Williams, and Fred Williams uh, have not uh, come out to qualify. They probably might start toward the back here. We'll see if Mike, Daniel, or Fred comes out. But right now, the 15 of Austin Williams holding the top position. Got about five minutes left here. Brandon Kennedy out in chat here tonight. Brandon. How are you doing, bud? Uh, we'll say on behalf of myself and my brother, it's been a one 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 of those days. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a, it's been a rough one. It's been a rough day for us, but we we're here we're here. Uh, hopefully your day is going great, Brandon. What do I expect from the community swimming pool here tonight of <laughs> Iowa? Well, hopefully some bass fishing. Uh, nah, it should be a pretty good race. Probably could see a lot of side-by-side. -side. We're going to have the stages. So that, of course, get everybody, you know, crammed back up together. And then, you know, during that final stint, uh, depending on if we have a green flag pit stop or not, um, uh, it could separate the field a little bit. Or, you know, we could have a couple of yellows. And, you know, that'll keep everybody kind of, bunched up together, uh, you know, probably going to take tires for the most part here tonight. Every chance they get, keep those tires fresh, unlimited sets. So they don't have to worry about, all right, well, I only got one set or two sets or three sets in the pits. They can, under caution, come down, grab a set if they need be, and get right back out there on the track and, uh, you know, hopefully have the one of the best races that they can. So, uh, right now you're the only one other than my brother uh, that's out in chat here this evening. They are coming down to the final three and a half minutes. I am going to give it a little bit here before we get our pole sitter, whoever that will be. Right now it is Austin, but hope we got plenty of gas. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm going to mention that to him too. So yes, I'm gonna, I'm going to give him a hard time about it. Yeah, yeah, I think we we're all going to give him a hard time. <laughs> about it yeah so I, I think he probably i mean he made his bet he had to do what he had to do you know yeah he just he just waited too late yeah when you get 15 20 15 laps and you're banking on a yellow and you're banking on a yellow and it doesn't count i mean you got to stay out you've got to save as much as you can and and hope uh, and hope for the best you know at any certain point you know in that race but you know austin had to do what he had to do so i give him you know Give him a lot of credit for trying. Uh, that would be, I do believe, like I said, he did it at Michigan. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I believe it was because uh, he finished back. He led 31 laps and he finished back in 15th. So, or wait. Uh, I don't like the way I... Um, Finished back in 12th, my bad. Oh, okay. I don't like the way Sim Racing Hub has changed it. But. All right. Well, the final uh, two minutes, roughly. I guess we can go ahead and get Austin down here real quick and go ahead and talk to him uh, tonight. Austin Williams, bud, you there? Yeah, I got you. Hey, man, you got plenty of gas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sure hope so. <laughs> yeah, me and my brother said we're going to give you a hard time. Well, we know what happened in Michigan. Uh, talk a little bit about, you know, Chicago land last week. We was not here due to some severe weather. Kind of, uh, you know, give us a recap on, uh, you know, what happened there and the two cautions. Looks like just the stage cautions y'all had there. I mean, um, I'm trying to see. Uh, looks like you uh, didn't have the race you wanted. Uh, you know, kind of talk about it. Give us a heads up, man. What happened? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. I got into the the server late, and 
barely qualified and just wasn't a good night for me. So once I wrecked once or twice, I was like, I'm done. So I sat out. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. you know, Iowa tonight, you know, just, you know, forget about the, you know, last week, got Iowa tonight. It looks like you're pretty quick out there. Uh, what do you like or dislike about this track? I like it's a short track. It's, uh, you actually drive the car more and use the brakes and turn it. So it's going to be a lot more, more interesting this way. Do you, do you think it's going to be more of a driver's track than, you know, follow yep. the leader? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Definitely a driver's track. Definitely a driver's track. Well, I know tires probably going to be important, but y'all do have those unlimited sets at 100% fuel. So, you know, we'll see what it comes down to, Austin. You know, hopefully, you know, it's not a repeat of Michigan. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. <laughs> All righty, Austin, good luck. Congratulations on the poll here tonight, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Yep, we're going to be talking about that all night here tonight, folks. So, like they are right. going to be, uh, yep, girding up here. So, let's go yep. ahead and get all this junk off here. <laughs> yep. Yeah, grid, grid them up, bub. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, get them on the grid. As soon as I go, yeah. Does he fall asleep? Yeah. All right, here we go. Austin Williams driving the pole out here tonight with a 23-308. That is going to be quick enough for the top spot here tonight. So, uh, Austin, congratulations, but on the pole, teammate Jeff Hollingsworth. Going to start on the outside of him in second. Charlie Woods, yet another teammate, going to be up there at the third spot. So, one, two, three in qualifying for the uh, for OGR, the other guys. Now Dave Hunt is going to start fourth here tonight. P.K. and Fitch, John Anderson, Mr. Anderson. They're in sixth. Corey Moore in seventh. Thomas Taylor in eighth. John Zerke in ninth. And Kevin Gunther in tenth. Uh, Bob Lacavar in eleventh. Vinny May Estes in twelfth. Hanover Fist, thirteenth. Lottie Barrington, fourteenth. Jordan Berry, fifteenth. Mike Whitaker is going to start back at sixteenth. Daniel Williams in seventeenth. And Fred Williams will round out the four. Oh, is going to start 18th, and Tristan is going to round out the field here tonight in that 19th spot. Let's get them down here. Haven't rolled off as of yet. Eddie Mayestis has not gridded, nor Fred, nor Tristan. Nope. Yep, gonna be interesting. These guys are either gonna have to grid or gonna have to start from pit road here tonight. Yeah. Do what they do. Okay. Benny has Benny. gridded. Yep, Fred has gridded. And 93 Brett has not gridded. Fred hadn't gridded on my end. Uh, let's see. No, he hasn't, has he? Brad and Tristan. We are rolling off, so it is a yep. little bit late now. <clears throat> so Fred Williams and Tristan had did a not grid here tonight. Yep. We will see if they start here this evening. One guy I'm not seeing out in chat here tonight is Steve. Uh, Fred. Oh, Steve. Tristan. Oh, I know Fred and Tristan. I don't even think they're in pit. Oh, so. They can't we'll grid until it goes green. They can't okay. come out until it goes green. All right, well, we'll see what happens then. Yep. Well, two laps here at Iowa. I totally forgot how many. Uh, this track, I don't think, is a mile and a half. Short track. Uh, let's see here. 0.88 miles. Way, so yeah, way less than 210 miles. You said they're going 140? 140 laps. That'll okay. put it at... 123.2. miles. Yep. All right, we'll go ahead and get that updated here. 123 miles. I thought it was a mile and a half track. I should have known No, better. Lord, no. I should have known better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have. You could have checked that on the info. Yeah, well, I didn't wake up till 7.15. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, you want a Kit Kat bar? Not really. Okay. Uh, I want a Snickers. 
We're fine. <laughs> All right. Well, coming out of four here. There goes. Pace car yep. is off to the safety right, of pit road. And the green is out. Boogity, 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 folks. We are racing <coughs> here tonight at Iowa. And those, those two drivers did not come out. Nope, 17. Start here tonight. He's going to lead the first lap. Is it going to be Jeff? Oh, Jeff up oh, into man. the wall. Austin pushing oh, my up. Goodness. Whoa, Jeff going to lead the first lap here tonight. So, Jeff, I hate this track of Iowa Hollingsworth. is yeah. going to lead the first lap here tonight. <laughs> Sorry, right, had to throw it out there, Jeff. Now we've got, it looks like PK pushing up a little bit. He's going to fall. Oh, back to the fifth spot right where he started. He does have Charlie there, though, to is inside, so they are battling for that fifth position. As of right at the moment. Oh, 57 got loose. Thomas Taylor was dirt tracking it around. <laughs> Slot. He's got company with Bob here. Mike Whitaker, Lonnie Barrington going out of back here. At the Rolling Rock 707 and the Big Red 23. I don't know if that would taste good together. Ugh, just <laughs> even thinking about it makes me sick. Uh-oh, got a spinner. There's uh -oh. a number 31, he's spinning out. That's Kevin Gunther. Gunther. Oh, we're oh, going to have a wreck. Oh, yes, we are. Driver's trying to dodge it. Yep. He, got, he got popped pretty good, too. And it looks like John is the one that popped him. So we're going to find out what happened to Mr. Kevin here tonight. First yellow of the evening. And I said, watch those self spins. Yeah. Said that yep. earlier. Yeah, it, he didn't. Yeah, he just lost it too. Yeah, it looks like he might have just broke loose. Yeah, yep, he did. Yep. Yeah, he was sliding around there. Ooh, like ice, man. Yeah. He just could not. Oh, and he overcorrected. Yep. And he gets popped. <laughs> yeah, overcorrected, right, right up in the wall, and the 56. Oh, boom. <laughs> nowhere to go. That is uh, John Anderson. Yeah, man, thank, thank God for the fast repairs that they yeah, get really. here because looks like John's going to need one. He might need a little bit more than a fast repair. He might need a new a new uh, pair of underwear. Here we go. Yep, here we go again. <laughs> All right. So Jeff lead the way. Looks like John is on pit road. Uh, for, yeah, fast repair already used, no doubt about it. Even though it hasn't yep. shown up yet, it will once he pulls yep. out. Yep. So. Yeah, five yep. grabbers down pit road. Yep. yep, there it is. And Kevin also using one. Probably a good idea. Go ahead and get that out of the way. But they get three, so. Yeah, they get three, so I guess you could waste one early if you had to. You couldn't if you were in Wednesday night league. You don't get none. You don't get none, <laughs> no. no. And I don't and think you get none on Sundays either. Uh, Sundays you don't get any, yep. so. Let me check the radar. I'll see what's going on in your neck of the woods. He's wet. No? No, it's not raining. Oh, okay. My, my puppy's wet. No, oh, it rains west of you. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not going to do an interview early on here. <laughs> uh, we kind of know what happened. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Kevin Gunther said, whoopsie, that's exactly what he said. And John Anderson is like, oh, no. <laughs> he just had, he just, he, he had no time to No, react. no. Man, but, you know, he has the, uh, you know, brand new vehicle out there. So, and no reaction time whatsoever. All right, well, four locks out there and uh, three people watching at the present time. Yeah, probably me, you, and Brendan. Uh, mine don't <laughs> count. 
Oh, okay, well. No, I'm in the studio, so mine does not count. I guess I could be in the studio too, but. Yeah. But I don't want to chat under Backspeed TV, so. Yeah, I'd get everybody confused. Yeah, yeah. It'd get, get me confused. I'd be like, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go back and watch this. He's gonna be like, "You did not say that, did you?" But yeah. Now we'll we'll let the interviews kind of wait a minute, see what happens. A little early, really, but it, it, from what it looks like, it, you know, with Kevin there, it looks like it is a little slick out there because he just lost it. I mean, he just dove it down and it just started to slide, and there was nothing he could do. Like Braden out there, rooting on the leader, as always. That yeah. uh, would be uh, Jeff currently right now in the uh, EAV, Coast, United States Coast Guard 97. Still have to send him that little plaque that I got him. <laughs> I bought him a U.S. Coast Guard plaque. And, oh, somebody's uh -oh, blinking. That's, that's going to be the 97. That's, that's Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. Ooh. Check your blinker fluid there, Jeff. Yeah, boy, I bet he's not too happy if that's been... A little early. Uh, get get all the blanket out now. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> you know. Come and do the restart at lap number 10 here. It'll be Jeff, Austin, Dave, Paul, Charlie, Corey, Penny, Hanover, Bob, and Jordan. Top 10. After a thick yellow here. Pace car is off and away. Jeff's gone. Here we yep. go. Back in the way here tonight. At Iowa. For three and wide. Oh, have a oh. Wow. oh, we just about had a. <laughs> yep, the 96 of PK, the 15 and the 53. Almost uh, did a, a little three wide there. I think they were three wide for a second. And then, yeah, they were. Oh, man, the 45 back here getting real close to the ball, too. That's 44. Looks like they're kind of getting meandered, uh, you know, back here. Daniel Williams in the 91. Uh, well, it's most of these, uh, 18. The number 70 of Vinny, he's bumping up and down like he's riding Daytona yeah, 08. Three wide, real quickly, <laughs> as Hanover gets around. Who is it? Uh, Vinny, the number 70, he's bumping up and down like he's driving on Daytona 08. Yeah, this track is bumpy, oh. so. <laughs> Oh, my goodness no gracious. No yellow, though, this time. Nobody in the area. But we're going to get a Max Speed TV rewind here to find out exactly really. Oh, it looks like 56 was into the wall. And then 31 kind of, I guess, you know, kind of hit the brake maybe a little bit to slow down. And he goes sideways. And just like the last time, he overcorrected right up into the outside wall. No yellow. Huh. Man, well, it looks like Kevin wow. may be in the show here tonight. Sorry, Kevin, it's your fault. <laughs> uh, looks like Charlie having a little mishap here, too. He fell back to seven. Man. All right, Thomas, Tan uh, Thomas Taylor, Daniel Williams. They going at it back here, the 57 of the eight. I do believe Daniel Williams, I think, is related to Fred. Oh, okay. Uh, I think. I could be wrong, but I think. All right, Mike, Mike Whitaker, John Jerky. I mean, there. <laughs> John Jerky. I knew he was going to do that yeah. one. <laughs> There's the city. Yep. Yeah, I got to pick up John. Uh, Milwaukee 44, hanging out back here in 15. That was Dart 9. Wow. Oh, yeah, he's fell back. A long way to go, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's got plenty of, got plenty of time. And, uh, I think my puppies want to say hi. Oh, uh -huh. the 15 up into the 96. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, and that happened right in front of the 53 of Dave Hunt. And did... Uh, the 96 start to get loose first? That was, that was PK. I think he 
good. I don't know. That was close. All right. So. All right. Hang on just a second. Having problems again. Oh, my goodness. Hear crackling in my ear. All right, I'm back. I had to go chase my dogs. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. All right, so we're still watching it here. I'm watching PK here real quick. I don't know if he started to get loose or the 15 tagged him or took the air off of him or something. Um, trying to figure it out here. And it looks like, oh, no, it looks like Austin did just tagged him. And that upset him right there. Yeah, I think that's what it was. And uh, 96 goes around. Dave Hot. Oh, he's going to get up into the outside wall. Ouch. Benny Bay is somehow missing that. So, yeah. Man, tough, tough break for a couple of drivers here. Man, I don't, th I don't think the 15 meant to do that. <laughs> His own teammate, that damn it. Uh, probably not. Uh, More than likely not. I think he did that on purpose. Yeah, okay. All right, well, Jordan Barry is uh, hanging out back here. Not sure what's going on with the sport. But another yellow here tonight. Now, remember our stage. We we haven't even gotten to the stage yet. No. And uh, and they just keep slipping and sliding out here tonight let's, let's go ahead and see if maybe we could talk to Kevin if he's in yeah there he is I'm gonna go ahead and pull him down here real quick Kevin Gunther man we gotta talk about it what is going on down there at the track here tonight I am not having a good start that's what's happening and I'm trying to get it turned around here All hopefully right. I can get a good start to this run the car is just being real funky I that last one there, I had to stab the brakes and it just went around on me. But we'll be all right. We're right. still in this thing. Is it loose? Is it tight? Is it icy out there? I mean, what what happened? What, what's it feel like? It's unpredictable. You just <laughs> you don't really know what you're gonna get each corner. It's one corner wants to be real pushy and go up the track, and the next it seems it wants to go around. So. uh I think air is affecting it a lot, so you got to be kind of smart here and play your cards right, I think. All right. Well, good luck out there, Kevin. Man, we hate it. Several drivers, it looks like, already having some issues out here tonight. Uh, but, you know, we'll see what happens, and uh, we got a long way to go, bud. So, Kevin, good luck, bud. All right. Thank you, buddy. Hopefully, I can uh, get this ship right in and get up front there. All right. We'll see what happens, man. Good luck. All right. All right, Kevin Gunther back here in 16th. Uh, one of the, you know, he spotted twice out here tonight already, but yep. so you know, gotta gotta see what's going on. I think Austin just real. I think Austin. I think what happened is Austin took the air off of PK and then hit him or hit him and then took the something. We know Austin did tag the uh, uh, the 96 of PK there. Now that, of course, they are teammates. We do have uh, Austin PK, also known as Big PK. Uh, Charlie, Freddie, and Jeff. Now, Freddie did not start, but he is in uh, TeamSpeak, almost said Discord. Tristan's back out, 16 laps down. Yep, Tristan is back out here. Yep, uh, Tristan is out here, or did come out, yeah. Yep. Uh, I think he had... We might have had some internet issues, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. Race car is off and away, and there Jeff is going to be on the loud pedal. Now, Austin was hoping to try to get a good start there, and he did, but here we go. Three. No, not quite. I was going to say three wide, but. 
Look who has made it up here in the top three. Yep. The 70 of Vinny Bay asked just a little bit of crossover here. Whoa! Vinny! Oh, Vinny! Coming up on the 97. Vinny got loose. Austin now right behind him. Oh! Starting to heat up here, bud. Yep. My uh, Discord's blowing up, so. Discord. Uh oh, oh, oh no, up into the wall. wall. Here we go. Oh, good save, but man, oh man. Oh, man. I'm gonna go see if he got damage. I'm sure he does. Oh yeah, the 70 definitely yep. gonna have damage. Yeah, many may yes, for sure. Oh yeah, he's got. Oh yeah, he's got some damage. Yeah, he's definitely gonna have. He's not the only one that's gonna have damage. Whoever got into him is also gonna have some. That did allow a little bit of a breakaway here from first, second, and third. A lot of battling going on back here, though. Man, there's a lot of battling. Dave Hunt, Mike Whitaker, Daniel Williams, Kevin Gunther. Yeah, there is a lot. They're stacked up back there. And uh, something is going on with Austin here. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, oh, he, he is uh, coming down pit road. Yep, I'm not sure. Let me see. Does he have damage? He's got damage. All right, yeah. That that, front right. Front, he's, he's got some rear damage. Oh, man, yeah, heavy right side, yep. heavy rear end damage. Ouch. Yep. Hey, yeah, coming down pit road, he'll probably use a fast repair. Probably not what you want to have to do early, but hey, you get three of them, so uh, <laughs> they're there just in case. Battle here for the third spot between PK and John Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Ooh, I've got a little squirrely there. Corey Porter. Harley and Thomas going at it. Lap 28 here, folks. Still got... A few more laps before we get to the, our stage one. It looks like PK starting to kind of fall back a little bit, back into that fourth spot. Ooh, man, 45. <clears throat> Thomas Taylor starting to make some moves here. Austin is now a lap down. Yeah, well, he'll be back on the lead lab here pretty quick. We get a yellow or a stage, and yep. he'll be able to get back on the lead lab. So, battle here still yet. Third, fourth, it looks like EK and John now, as well as 45 and 40. Dave Hunt right behind them. Charlie right there with them. Man, Thomas Taylor, uh, throw a blanket over these guys. Can't forget uh, Hanover, Bob, Kevin, Mike, Daniel. I mean, they're all right here together. Yep. Jeff, though, uh, almost two seconds ahead of Vinnie Mae Estes here. Jeff looking to win uh, stage one. Vinnie. Seconds back, but right here from third on back. Third, bumper, bumper, nose and tail, side by side, door to door. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> wall to wall. <laughs> wall to wall. Wall to wall. I'm gonna stay right here with John and, oh man, out of turn four, man. Oof. So lap 33 here. Next time by will be lap 34. Of course, we get a yellow now. More than likely, that'll be doing for the stage. We will not go back under. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 96 out of Paul. PK's off the track. That looks like Bob's into the wall. Oh, and, and we got another yeah. caution. And that'll do it for the stage, I believe. So we'll see what happens right here. Oh, yeah, I think I know what happened. I think John got a little bit too close. I think he made too much love to the wall there. Oh, ouch. 
Yeah, and I think that's what kind of started everything. So John Anderson, yeah, right here in the 56 reading machine. Yeah, he pulled up, pushed up right into the wall. 45 was to his inside. The 96 comes up. 45 goes down. They make contact. 96 goes across. And then something happened to Bob back here, too. I think Bob was maybe checking up for everything or... I don't know, 31 was right behind him, and I think he might have just broke loose, too. Uh, right here, is looks like, yeah, he just snaps loose. Goes down, overcorrects it, right up into the eight. Oh, wow. Oh, Daniel Williams going to get caught up in that, too. Ouch. Man, all right. Well, yeah, that is probably going to do it for our stage here. Jeff is coming down pit road. Yep. So our stage one winner will be uh, a Jeff Hollywood. We'll get Jeff down here real quick. Here in the just. second he'll be like oh gosh here we go watch it <laughs> all right Jeff got a copy there bud I told you I didn't want to be interviewed anymore Josh <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that ain't gonna happen uh, st you know, got the stage one here, buddy, under yellow. Uh, man, kind of talk about it. What's going on down there? Looks like you're pretty quick out here for a track you hate. Eh, it's it's just I don't like it. But um, I got loose there and bottled them up, killed a couple of my friends. So I hate that. But race on, man. It's uh, Iowa, yep. and this starts like riding a skateboard around Iowa. It's just the frame's so rigid, it you hit any bumps, it bounces and bottoms out and it's loose, and with that many restarts, the tires have heat cycles, and it makes it looser. So. Oh, man. All right. Well, you know, it's uh, still a long way to go, uh, but, man, it is such a short track out here. You know, y'all putting these laps down left and right, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, still a long way to go. Still got some competition out there. Your best friend, Vinny's right behind you. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, My best you know. friend. Yeah, your best friend. You know. My best friend is PK and Charlie. Oh, no, well, no. Vinny's one back to back, so, you know, he's your best friend. Why are you going to dig like that, man? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you picking fights? Ah, no, you know me. You know me, Jeff. Trying to, trying to stay in a good mood, you know. I got it. No, me and Vinny race clean together. We're good. We'll see what happens here, buddy. Uh, good luck down there. Congratulations on the stage one win, man. Uh, Thank you. Yep. Yep. All right, got got to pick on Jeff, you know. I've known Jeff for a long time, so we're gonna get set here for a staged. Yep. Uh, ow! Got a cramp in my foot. <laughs> You wear shoes in the house? Yes, sir. I don't like walking around barefoot. I'm not a barefoot. Oh, I do. Top of guy. Ugh. Hang on, folks. Got a cramp up my foot. I'm trying to. My toes are wanting to curl. Oh, that that hurts. Now. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, uh, no, we ain't. Oh, not yet. Well, lots are off. Oh yeah, lots are off. The Jordan. Barry has already taken his car behind the wall here, even oh, though wow. he had a couple of sets left. Uh, all three of them, to be exact. Yep. All right. So, yeah, we are going to be going back green here, coming to lap number 40. That's going to put us at 101 to go. Gosh. Yeah, winding it down Quick here. Yeah. Jeff Hollingsworth, Vinny Maestas, Dave Hunt, John Anderson, Corey Moore, Charlie Woods, Thomas Taylor, Hanover Fist, John Serkey, and Lonnie Barrington running out the uh, top of ten. 
right, pace car is down to the safety of pit road. Jeff can go. There he is. He gone. He gone. Yeah. He is a gone. He's going to try to get a gap here between him, Vinny, and, well, Dave now looking. Oh, Dave going to go up into the middle. We got door-to-door -door action behind him, too. Going to send John Anderson backwards. And good Lord. Vinny up into the wall. Again. That is going to allow Dave to take over second. Yeah, again. Man. Seen him hit the wall a few times in practice. Yeah, he did. And he couldn't stay off of it. Yeah. Now he is battling the 53 of Dave Hunt to the P2 spot. Carly right behind him. Bird's eye view with the 45 and 44 here. Cockpit with Corey. He had. Man, he sees that United oh, States. Oh, 23 about lost it. Oh, Lonnie Barrington. Yeah. Man. Just coming coming around that curve. Oh, that man, he almost big rated it. <laughs> Not in a good way either. <laughs> and that is, that man, turn four is, uh, is rough. Well, turn two is rough, I should say. Oh, well, t coming out of four and two, that, that's, that is, it's crazy. All right, Kevin Gunther, John Zerke, right up ahead of PK and Kevin. Literally right up ahead of them. Right up ahead of them is going to be hand over fist. Hand over fist. Or hand over fist. Hand uh, over fist. Yeah, hand over fist, but hand <laughs> over right there. Yeah, hand and over. That's uh, Terry Adams. Great guy to talk to. Oh, John! Oh, we got a huge checkup. Uh, yeah, they saved it, though. Yeah, they saved it. I'm going to find out what happened here under the Max Speed TV Rewind. It looks like, uh, oh, that's what happened. John Zerke, and oh, the 96 got loose, pushed up into the 44. Oh, we got that's a caution. That's what happened there, and then now we have a yelp. So... Ahead and uh, rewind it here. And you said we have a yellow, and I'm not yep. sure exactly know. Um, <coughs> where that not, happened. At. I, I'm not either. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm I talking to on, someone on Facebook. So. I am on EK here. Uh, oh, no, it's a 56. Was it John? Uh, let's see here. John is, that's exactly where it was. Yeah, that's where the yellow came out. Looks like John come down. Yeah, down, right down into the 69 of a handover. And John goes sideways and then a yellow comes out because he's sideways and in traffic. Even though it pulls it off, to the to the apron, he was already sideways, so the yellow is out. Other rubber ducky was Christmas and other reindeer droppings. What what, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Brain out there in chat. But I've lost myself. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> there I am. All right. Now Jeff leading the way here. He's led all laps so far. All 40-something? Uh, so far, yeah. Wow. 40, well, that'll be 47 laps right there under yellow here. Dave Hunt right behind him. Vinny Bayestas. Vinny, though, is not in team speak, so I can't really Who is talk it? to him. Vinny. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's, he's not, not there. team speak, nor is Corey, so I can't talk to them, too. Uh, I can see you. Thomas is not in. I've already talked to Austin. There's Kevin, PK. 
Daniel. Mike don't like to talk. <laughs> Only when he stops to breathe. Lonnie? Lonnie's here. Let's talk to Lonnie real quick. All right, Lonnie Barrington, buddy, got a copy? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, man. <laughs> well, uh, we seen you about Big Reddit out there here tonight. Um, man, what, what's what's going on down there, bud? <laughs> kind of interesting. I haven't reached this track a whole lot, so I'm biding my time back here, you know, towards the back and dodging things going <laughs> left and right, you know. Been clean so far, so let's hope, hope it lasts. Well, you're talking to me now, so you know how that can go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> well, Lonnie, good luck out there, buddy. Still a little, you know, still a ways to go out here, man. So, you know, anything yeah. can happen. You, you know, you've got, you know, your your fast repairs left. You know, like I said, I mean, anything can happen. So, uh, you know, good luck out there, Lonnie. Keep it going. Keep it straight. Keep it fast. Turn left. Just don't go yeah. too far left. <laughs> <laughs> Not too far, no. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, good luck. Okay, see you. Yeah. All right, Lottie Barrington down there in the big red 23 machine. Sharp looking paint. Uh, Bub, you there? Oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm talking to oh. someone on Facebook, so I'm, I've got my mind preoccupied right now. Oh, 900,000 so. feet at one time. Yeah. All right, well, let's see here. Should be going back green here this time. Uh, let's see, Jeff looks like has chosen the inside line again, probably the preferred line. Next car lights off? Yes. Yep, just went off. Quick note here, Arkansas win games one. Game yeah, one, wins game one, one to nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big Razorback fan, folks. Uh, yeah, and another another upset happened in the NCAA tournament as my Kentucky Wildcats lost. Oh, my. So, okay. Yeah, I'm not happy. Uh, well, let's see what we have here tonight. <laughs> Down for us, yeah. you know. Yeah, really. <laughs> All right, pace car is off and away. And Jeff, man, he wasted no time. He, he's done that the past, well, whatever time they yeah. <laughs> started. Yeah, he has. Oh, no. We got oh, Vinny no. Dave. Oh, no. Good they save there. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but oh. they're still a little tight right now. Yeah. I don't think Vinny or Dave are a little bit too happy, but that's just hard racing. You know, these, these guys racing it up side by side the way this track is, the way this car has been. Here tonight, you know, uh, very unpredictable, yep. you know, what we have, you know, heard from the drivers. So, uh, definitely, definitely seeing that. Looking back here at the Big Red 23 again. He's just behind his time, he said. So, you know, still ways to go under, way under 100 to go now. So, taking a look at it here, close to some three wide action. Haven't had really any three wide here. I mean, we've had, like, quick wide but not you know three wide you know around the track like you know together uh, so I, I would assume uh, Brandon is waiting for that at some yeah. point yeah yeah I'm waiting for it too Brandon so don't feel bad looks like Charlie up in a second now oh, not quite I mean he's battling the 70 yellow yellow of Vinny Viestas Oh, Vinny almost took the nose off of Charlie. Oh, no. That would not have been good. No, that wouldn't have been pretty for either one of them. Man. We'll take a look through, at it here, go, go, through, go through the field here. One, 17. Okay, I'm done. One, 17. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've had a total of four cautions. Yep. Three laps, 86 laps to go. Zero lead changes because... I hate this track, Jeff, has yeah, led all the laps. Yeah, he keeps hogging first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, at a track like this, it's so hard to pass. You know, if you could just run your line and let everybody behind you race it up, you know, Jeff, Jeff is doing what he's got to do. So, uh, we'll see. You know, we've only had, uh, you know, this is going in our fourth race of the season here, folks. We have had... Let's see here, looking at it. 
only two winners. Oscar Williams for round number one. And round two and three, he went to the 40 of Vinnie May, or went to yep. Vinnie May Estes in the, yeah. Yeah, Austin won at uh, Las 70. Vegas. And then Vinnie has won the past two races, so. Yeah, yeah the 40's Charlie, had Charlie on yep. the line. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, 70. Oh, Vinny going up front. I think Jeff let him by. Unless Jeff lost it. Hang on just a second here. I was going, ooh, he might have got a little bit too close to the wall there. And he was pretty he was way up high there. But, oh, Vinny. Uh -oh. oh, oh. As we go back live here. He's, uh, lost. He's losing position. So is Jeff. Oh, what happened? I wonder. No, I'm about to find out. I'm gonna rewind it because I went back up live and then I seen it and they were battling. I think, oh, I think uh, 97 might have tagged him. Mm. Oh, it did. Jeff tagged him, got him loose. And, oh, okay, yep. He and tagged, Je and, yep, he sure did. Yep, and Jeff is doing what Jeff does. He did not mean to get into him and he backed off. Not gain positions. He did not, you know, he didn't do anything. Uh, yeah, this is what Jeff does. Um, you know, he could have very easily. Oh, 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 check oh, out. Austin and Jeff got. Yeah. Wow. Together. Oh, <laughs> he makes at it again. <laughs> oh, they could. They, they could have took, took, took the, they yeah, themselves they, both out. Yeah, I'll get out in a minute. They could have taken the taken out there. <laughs> <laughs> Man. And well, Charlie up front. Vinny oh, up front. oh, Vinny, oh, oh. 45, whoa! Yep. There is a caution. There, oh, oh no! No! Bonnie Barrington, ouch. Nowhere to go, just T-bones. <coughs> the 70. Oh. Yep, all right. Well, it looks like the 45. That is... Corey Moore. Corey Moore, yeah. Those went, did, went to the inside, took the air off the 70, and then that right front to the left rear. Just, yep. Then, you know, 45 goes up while the 70 is going around, and the 45 just, just finished him off. And then the 97 going to get a piece of the 70 here, trying to dodge it. And I think the worst one was that one. Ooh. Lonnie right into the 70. Ouch. All right. Well, um, man. <laughs> well, it's been action-filled here tonight. All right. Hello from Brazil. Wow, that's quite a trip. <laughs> yeah. That is uh, act, Actful Pie. I think I said your name right. Hello from Brazil. We got a lot of, lot of people from Brazil that watch. It's kind of neat. Tristan Perron, that's his name. Oh, okay. Uh, the 90. I was trying to think back on when I first called his name out. I remember. <clears throat> oh, we're going to be coming up on that halfway mark here momentarily. Already. Yep. Braden is from Canada. I got a friend up in Canada. What part of Canada there, Bray? Just what? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm curious to know too. I got a friend up on uh, lives in Nana Nanaimo or Nanaimo. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Manitoba? Over on, no. No, that's a uh, Nanaimo is in British Columbia. It's oh. on Vancouver Vancouver Island. So. Oh. Okay. I got a I got a, a friend that lives up in uh, Sussex, New Brunswick. Oh wow! Yeah, northeast uh, where Maine is, it's just oh yeah, right across. Yeah, 
Pete must be in the Atlantic time zone. Uh, that is, well, you know, back in the Yahoo days, that's Mountain Man and Mountain Lady. Of course, Mountain Lady. Yeah. The kids are up there. Mountain Man of course, passed away a few years ago. Braden from Ontario. Ontario. Okay, okay. What well, part of uh, Brazil, uh, Tactical? Uh, kind of kind of cool to know. Just give the, you know, kind of like the geographical area. You don't have to say the, you know, your actual location. But uh, it'd be kind of cool to, you know, kind of see where everybody's from. Of course, I'm from the United States. I live in Arkansas. Uh, uh, he's from Brazil. What part of Brazil? He's from South Africa. <laughs> That's where Brazil is, in South Africa. So well, I, I just had to say that. <laughs> Lives its own country. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, I'm from Arkansas. My brother's actually here in Arkansas. Yep, about, about 20, 25 minutes apart, about somewhere around there. minutes apart, yeah. Did I just see you a few hours ago? Yeah, uh, not not the way we wanted. No, not the way we wanted, for sure. But All right, well, here we go. Lights are off. Charlie, Dave, Corey, Jeff, Austin, Hanover, Thomas, Paul, uh, PK, by the way, uh, John, Bob, Kevin, Daniel, Sean, Turkey, Mike Whitaker, Lonnie, Barrington, Vinnie Mayestis, uh, running out in the top 16 on the lead lap, well, in 14 more laps, Kristen Perrine will have all of his laps back. Oh, that's good. He will lead 14 <laughs> more cautions. Yeah. Yeah, let's not get that. That's I, I don't not think Bob and Hanover would be too happy. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> All right. Well, pace car is off and away. What's Charlie going to do? Hard to see Jeff jump it. Charlie's he gone. gonna jump it. He gone. And Jeff, Jeff in third place after all that mess. Yep, he's going to be looking to the inside here, though, of Dave Hunt, who is in second. And it looks like Dave's going to try to go to the outside of the 40. See how well that works out. It's been... There goes Jeff gets, to the outside. Yep, Dave gonna Hunt's going to make that wow. outside line work. Wow, Dave! Man. Yep. Yeah up on stage two, the end of stage two here momentarily. We get another yellow, that'll end it. Yeah, Jeff said he, he didn't want to be interviewed again. Look what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hear, I'm not going to hear the end of it. Don't give me a hard time about it. Oh, yeah. Does, yeah. Good battling going on back here too. Kevin, Daniel, Penny, man, we got battles all over the place. Good Lord Almighty, Dave Hunt, this time I will be the white flag in the air. Of course, like I said, we get a yellow now. That is it. So white flag here at the stripe in the air. There it is. Now, there it next is. Next time by will be. Oh. oh, the next time by, okay. Well, well, this is the white flag. Next time by yep. will be the call. Oh, okay. I don't, you don't I haven't got a white flag. I have got a white flag. Oh, oh Jeff, Jeff. Got, Jeff got loose. You got a white flag button. It's right up above the word checker. We're cranking up. Here. Oh, so you have to do it manually. Yes. They don't oh, say Oh, okay. It. Here we oh, go. Okay. Coming to the line. Dave Hunt is going to win stage number two. <clears throat> right. Well, now you don't have to interview uh, Jeff now. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. No, I'm sure Are you really? No. Oh, my goodness. No. Oh, oh, man. No, I'm not. I'm going to. I, I, I'll. I'll. I'll Hear it on Facebook, I'm sure. They'll send me a message on Facebook or on Discord. Just had to interview you, didn't you? That's <laughs> going to be his exact words, I guarantee you. I, yeah, I know these drivers pretty well. And Dave probably won't even talk to me. But we're going to wait for him, these guys, to pit. We're at the halfway mark, though, folks. So we only got 70 more laps to go. Setting that. Right at pretty much 9 o'clock Central, 10 Eastern. Been a pretty good race so far. A couple of yellows, but, you know, uh, just the way this track is being unpredictable here tonight. Dave sliding into his box. So is Charlie. There's Austin coming around. There's Jeff, BK. 
I can pretty much go off of the uh, number. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting there. Yep. Just going to take some time, and Dave's going to be the first one off. All right. Well, let's get him down here. Dave Hunt here tonight. All right, Dave, got a copy, or do you not want to talk to me? I've already taken several drivers out here tonight. <laughs> Hey, Josh, I got a copy. All righty. Well, you won stage number two out here tonight, buddy. Congratulations on that. Now, coming, of course, you know, we are, you know, over the halfway mark now. What is it going to take out there here this evening? It looks like it is very, very unpredictable from what we've heard and what we're seeing. Yeah, just stay out of everybody's mess. That's my, my – I got caught up in one there, but came from the back back to the front, so it's all right. I, I, I can do what I need to do here. You can't, y'all can't go the distance, can you? Uh, look. I mean, yeah. Really? Oh, wow. Well, I don't know about the tires, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, unlimited tires and 100% fuel. So, wow. So, fuel might not be a factor. Well, I don't know. You might have to ask Austin on that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, hey, it's been a good race. Just this track, man, is being so unpredictable here tonight. Um, hey, there, there's a lot of action out there. But I know everybody's trying to be careful. But, man, these cars are just slipping and sliding everywhere. Uh, it depends on where you run it, though. If you watch my line, it's pretty uh, solid. Oh, we're going to have to. Just depends on yeah, watch Watch what I'm doing, and you'll see what's going on. But, yeah, if you get out of that groove, yeah, it slips and slides around quite a bit. All right, well, uh, you are going to get us going here. Lights are still on. So how are the tires holding up for the most part? Yeah, when you – like that one one restart there where I got sideways. Yeah. Yeah, that sort of ruined ruined them a little bit. But as long as I was easy on them again, then they came back. But, yeah, you just got to be careful. Careful uh, with them. Well, do we need nine sets like they had at Bristol Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, possible. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, I see the little Bristol ordeal there. Man, that was horrible the way they were running through those tires. So, uh, But, Dave, good luck down there again. Congratulations on the uh, Stage 2 win here tonight. Uh, man, we, you know, let's see what happens here coming out of the wire of the race, buddy. Good luck. All right, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. You too. All right, Dave Hunt down there. I think I put him in the right room. <laughs> well, if I didn't, he'll figure it out. <laughs> he'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. The light should go off this time. Now, it looks like John, though, is up front. He stayed yeah, out. He, he did not come down. Uh, he's been out here now 12 laps of that time by. His last pit stop, though, that he did come down 12 laps ago was 13.7 seconds. So, I uh, would assume he probably either took uh, a, a full set of tires. If that was a full, you know, four-tire change in fuel, that was a very quick stop. But it looks like everybody else, for the most part, 14 fours, 14 threes, 14 and a half. So, uh, you know, feeling, you know, for Mr. Feelgoods, <laughs> what I call them, because they sure do feel good. Like that song, I feel good. Oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> All right, pace car is off and away. And John is going to get us going green back out. I think they might have uh, spun those tires a little bit, but he is all right down to the inside line, side by side, two by two. Nova's arcade to blow past the 44 like he's sitting still. There goes Austin. There goes uh, the 40 of Charlie, the 97 also coming to the inside. Oh! A bit close there. Yep, yep, Jeff. Don't blame it on me. Yeah, yeah, he will. <laughs> Help the ball there. Might have to believe here, though. Ooh, well, I thought. I thought. Awesome, awesome. Oh, the 69 scratching the wall. Oh, and over fifth. And over Terry. Come on there, I, bud. I heard it, too. Yeah, that little scrape. Oh, oh, no. Go oh, oh, there goes the 70. Yep. Oh, no. It's going to be a big one. 96 got into the 69? Uh, I think so, too. I think it kind of was a chain reaction here. Uh, 70, I think. All right. So the 70 got into the 45, okay. barely. And the 70 had to check up 
and then it was kind of like a chain reaction here um, between them three, the 70, the 69, and the 90, uh, 96. Yeah, it was kind of like a chain reaction. So we're going to go ahead and rewind it here a little bit. Let's Did the 70 get into the back? Oh, that was close. Uh, right up, really close. Kai, the 70 did have to, uh, Kai, I guess you could call it a brake check. Uh, he had to pretty much get all the brakes there. And the 96 just had nowhere to go. There was definitely some contact there between the 96 and the 70. Uh, right there. I mean, it was just slight. But that did allow uh, the, uh, you know, the push-up, the 96 into yep. the 69 and then the 70 goes for a ride 70 goes right up in front uh of pk pk is going to go all the way around he does get tagged but he does save it and it looks like thomas taylor gonna be the unlucky one as he fouls right into the wall and oh yeah several more lonnie Kevin, oh, jeez. <clears throat> yep, and, oh, right there, the 93 of uh, Tristan. Got to get a piece of it, too. Man. Sixty laps to go already. Wow. wow. Thanks, you owe me a Coke. Got one right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you nothing. <laughs> All right, seven out there watching and seven likes. Awesome. Well, let's see. Charlie will talk. All right, Charlie, buddy, got a copy? Yeah, I do. All right, do you want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> What's there to talk about? <laughs> it's crazy out here. <laughs> Well, what's it like down there? Talk to us, man. I see everybody just dooring everybody, slipping and sliding. I know it's not intentional, but uh, it's crazy down there here this evening. Uh, there might be a couple intentional ones down there, but it, it's um, a couple guys have been saying rubbing is racing, but not, not to me it's not. <laughs> mm. uh, so they getting a little bit too rubby. <laughs> Yeah, and I think it's going to get a little bit worse here because as the laps wind down, they're getting crazier and crazier. Yeah, well, well, what do you have for, of course, Austin? We know what happened two races ago with Austin. He's hungry, uh, you know, and then last week we know, uh, um, oh, what is his name? Vinny, you know, won again. So, you know, back-to-back -back for Vinny, only two winners this season. You're hungry. We got a lot of, a lot of hungry, hungry hippos out <laughs> here, so – what do you got for, you know, Austin, Dave, John, Jeff, everybody that's out there here tonight? I'm more like a top five car. Uh, Austin, I know I ain't got nothing for him. Uh, Dave, I might have something for. Jeff, I probably ain't got nothing for him. Uh, Corey, that's going to be a toss up there, and we'll just have to see what happens when Vinny gets back up here, what the deal is. But <laughs> I think I can get the top five here anyway. Well, hey, 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 you know, I think you do got something for the 97. It's called a front bumper. <laughs> Yeah, they used to call it uh, hit and run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hit and run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know pretty much. I know there's been several drivers out here that's been, you know, caught up in a few things here tonight. And you know, I, yeah, there might be some extracurricular activities down there, Charlie. But you know, overall, it's been good racing. We'll see what happens here, but lights should go off, so we're not going to keep you any longer, man. Good luck down there, Charlie. And let's just hope I just didn't throw the jinx on you there, bud. All right, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, Mr. Charlie. I will, you know, Charlie, one of the one of one of the old gu older guns out here tonight. He's he's up, in charge. Yeah, he, he's trying to be in charge. <laughs> yeah. Right now, it's Dave Hunt in charge. And Austin Williams there. No, uh, no gas, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> no gas, Austin. No gas, Austin. I think he's got enough gas though. Uh, yeah. See if he has enough tires. I, I, I got to pick on Austin, man. Hey, if I ran out of gas, I would expect uh, the broadcaster to do the same thing to me, okay? 
Uh, but a great group of guys out here. All these guys are awesome to talk to. Uh, I mean, yeah. Here we go, Dave on the loud pedal. Green back out once again here tonight. Austin there in second. Now Charlie now is going to go back to the inside. John, Jeff, John, Jacob. I'm, re I'm retiring. <laughs> <laughs> well, all we need, uh, we got John. All we need now is Jacob Jingle Heimerschmidt. Oh, oh, golly, three oh, wide. No. Three wide, almost four oh. wide. Gosh. I don't know how they didn't do that. <laughs> I, I don't know how they managed to save it. Hey, that gave me a heart attack. These guys are good at that, too. Yes, they are. All right, let's see here what I'm thinking about it. Next week, we go to Pinocchio. Oh, Pinocchio, and we're going to have... Oh, oh no. no! Austin involved. Daniel involved, and a few others involved. Oh, this wasn't good. Daniel Williams pushing way up into Austin. <coughs> Man, oh man, we're gonna see that. who all was involved in this. Right here, the eight just comes right up into the 15 of Austin. Both of them go hard into the outside wall. We're gonna get a chase view and turn the camera here. I would say there's no contact there, but I'd, <laughs> be, I'd be lying. Yeah, um, okay. Definitely what, a hard. What you gonna call? What are you going to call it? Net code? Net code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Net code. Uh, man. All right. So we know Austin and the 8 of Daniel was involved. Uh, the 707 going to get a piece. Hanover going to get a piece of that as well. Oh, man. Hanover taking a hard lick to the outside wall here, too. Man. Bam, 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 thank you, bam, right there. Jeez. Austin's back in his pit box. Yeah. I uh, was wondering if he's going to have to use another fast. Yeah, he's going to have to use another fast repair. He ain't got no front bumper. Yeah, I think a lot of these guys are probably going to have to going to have to use one, unfortunately. Did he, ha did he have to tow? He's been in there over a minute already. Uh, my ATVO just messed up. So. Uh-oh. Here at our caution. Let's see here. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, back up. Back up. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Get done. So eight cautions. 39 laps. 53 laps to go. 50. Yeah, 53 laps to go and four lead changes. What we have had here tonight. So I do have to reset ATVO. <laughs> Yeah, ATO is kind of lagging. I'm not sure why. Yeah, done goofed on my end. So give me just a second. Do do do. <laughs> oh. I think Austin had a toe. Yeah, he might have. I don't think he was able to get it back uh, to pit road on his own. Hey. <laughs> Braden's eating dinner. So. Yep. Try to get everything back up here. I've, now I have lost everybody who did it and everything. So unfortunately, uh, I think I've lost the cautions here too. Yeah. So I believe I can, had eight. I'll go. I'll double check. I ain't resetting unless I absolutely have to. Yeah. Eight cautions for forty laps. And four lead changes. Right down the eight. Eight. Yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm not going to. Yeah, the numbers are laggy, but yeah. when I double click, it changes automatically you know, pretty quickly. Yeah, so I ain't, I'm, not, I I'm not resetting. I'm not resetting unless you had to. Hey, 
Dave Hunt, Charlie, Corey, Paul, Bob, John, Fiddy, Thomas, Kevin, and Lonnie. That's rounding out the the top ten here at the present time. Let's go back here to the 44 of John. Are the lines still on? Yeah, yeah, on. yeah, they are. All right, let's go. If we could talk to Con here real quick. Outside. Con, sir, you and, oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys liking this uh, or what? Uh, I'm loving the battling out there. Not, not sure about the wrecks, but I'm loving the battling out there. But, hey, talk about it, man. What's going on down there, buddy, real quick? Well, we're getting ready to go back to green, and clearly I need to focus as much as I can, but uh, it's been really, uh, it's been tricky, <laughs> and I'm just trying to survive, but uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, maybe we can get this thing going green the rest of the way. That'd be fun. That would be, that would be pretty neat. I know you guys are coming out of two here, so we're going to let you get back to it. John, good luck down there, and well, let's just hope you know what didn't happen. Yeah, feel free to ring me up on the next caution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, good luck. Later. Later. All right, mid conversation. Yeah, <laughs> like an old boy. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right, well, Dave Hunt's gonna get us going with Charlie do his outside. We're gonna watch that line. Dave has been running once he gets going here into the restart zone, and he gone. Bring back out once again here tonight. Watch the line here. You see how the day's kind of run in the mid line. And don't look now, but here comes Corey. Yeah, and that bright green. Oh, man. Whoa, he what a through, run man. he got. Man. I thought he was going to overtake Dave there for a second. Yeah, he would have got it. Or push him out of the Whoa. way. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he would have got it too for yeah. And they side by side now. Charlie, they push it up a little bit. I think they's probably no, not gonna let it go. by, but he man oh, oh there no. we go. Door to door out of four. Oh my gosh, Corey gonna get that lap. Oh, we got a oh, yellow. Oh, though. Something, something's going on. Yeah. Something's oh going no. On oh, Vinny, Vinny. Vinny and Bob know. got into it. It looks like. I think Bob lost it. About Number five. Yep. Yeah. Find out here. I think Bob come down. Oh, it just lost it, and the 70 finished him off. Oh, God. Yep, come down, and yep, 70 nowhere to go. Right into the back of the five. Man, and they, oh, 69 also uh, kind of locking it down here. I think yep. he, oh, he got into the 15. Ouch. Um, yeah. 15 lost in yeah. Williams. Uh, yep, uh, Hanover. Yeah, he was trying to, I guess, uh, slow down enough. Uh, it just wasn't enough. Right into the back of Austin. That's going to send uh, Hanover down to cut uh, some of the unfinished grass out there here tonight. And, uh, man, golly, Hanover going to have some damage here, too. Jeez. All right. to a chase view here. Let's look at the damage on the 69 car. Uh, well, I can't really see it. Oh, yeah, there we go. That right front. Look at that bent. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's bent up. <clears throat> yeah, he got into the back of Austin. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the rear end of Austin. Oof, a little too fast there. Uh, yeah, he... I don't know. Um, doesn't look like the damage is bad on Austin, what I can see, but there is some damage, it looks like. Yeah, that right rear there does have some crinkle cut fries in there. Crinkle fries? <laughs> Man. All right. Well, Hanover is a lap down now. He is on pit road. Corey Moore up in front here. You can see that green car from a mile away. I know, right? <laughs> uh, well, we, I think everybody's seen him coming. Yeah. <laughs> here, come, here comes Greeny. Get out of the way. Greeny. 
green <laughs> Now that is a bright green car, I tell you that. Well, I think I'm done jinxing people for tonight. About time. I've had my huh. fair share of it. <laughs> had your fair share of it. Yeah. It's just been an unpredictable race out here tonight, you know. One lap seems all right, and then, then the next lap, you know, they're neck and neck, door to door, side by side, you know, wall to wall. <laughs> um, you just don't know what's going to happen, you know. And, and that really goes for any race. You know, you've called, you know, enough races with me, bub. You've watched enough. Uh, you know, even on tracks that it, it looks like it's predictable, you know, it's the same every single lap. You mm -hmm. know, you you still don't know what's going to happen. You know, you, you could, you know, run 99 laps up front out of 100 and just have that one mistake and it'll cost you. Yep. You know. So, you know, and then, you know, Corey Moore up front uh, looks like he has chosen the outside line here. Of course, he will be the driver to get us going. So, I think, you know, having that outside advantage, getting that jump on the second place, probably enter the corner a little better. Waiting on Thomas Taylor to get up here. He is going to be in that uh, fourth position, PK in third, right behind Charlie. But he's trying to catch up. It looks a lot. This car, of course, will dive to the safety of pit road. Well, we'll be we'll be back here tomorrow night, folks, 7.45 Central Time. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention the league, so I won't, but it yeah. is the last race of the season yep. tomorrow night. Yeah, it's on Max Speed TV. Pace cars yep. off the way. And Green is out because Corey's gone. Yeah, Friday night barely. Championship yep. Friday. Yep. So, yeah, as long as it's on Max Speed TV, I don't care. Okay, okay. And, I'll and, try to remember that. <laughs> and, of course, you know, I will I will say that, you know, I do broadcast the on Saturday nights, the OP uh, Super Speedway Truck Series. Uh, that it's is not, awesome. It's not truck. Or uh, Xfinity. My bad. Yeah. Uh, ooh, man. Uh, looks like, uh, who is that? That was Jeff getting a little loose. Uh, oh, no, 96. Oh. Paul PK, he got a little loose. He got he got in with the 57, but nothing really looks happened. Looks like everybody's all right here. Now the yep. for the 97 going at it. Man, ooh, yeah, Paul's still getting loose. Oh, oh yeah, he, Paul, no, hang on. Loose. He ain't going to hang on to it. Oh. Nope. 707 of Mike into the back of PK. No yellow. No caution. No caution. Mike, though, up into the wall. Yeah, they, you know, they, they don't throw a yellow for that. They, they, nobody was blocking, you know, nobody was sideways. So, but, man, that really upset Mike Whitaker. Man, Mike's all over the place. right? Oh, he is having some major problems. Yeah, let me see what's going to go home with him. Yeah, he's coming down pit road here, it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and get back up front if you can yep. keep an eye on Mike. Uh, yeah. He's got some damage, I just can't tell. Yeah, he's Sorry, probably what? steering damage. He was having a hard time getting it. Oh, okay. Yeah, getting it to pit road. So, uh, John Anderson, John Zerke, they're battling it out for Jerky. <laughs> Here comes the 31 2 of Kevin Gunther. Kenny May Estes right back behind him with the 8 of Daniel Williams. Oh, somebody's scraping. It's a 56. Oh, that would be John. Oh. John Anderson, not John Zerk. Like I said, we've got Johns out here. I don't need the bathroom. <laughs> I said that. I said that. Oh, oh John, oh, going oh, around. Oh. Yeah, Benny, Benny got him. 
gonna have a ye we are not gonna have a oh yellow my goodness for that. Gracious. Wow. Vinny saved, Vinny saved himself. It does not matter. John Anderson was going in circles. Oh, Ah, man, we're going to get a rewind here. We actually caught that live. And right that, there, yeah. John just got, how that went. Yeah, John just got too close to the wall and uh, was trying to come back down. And, man, yeah, no yellow. Wow. Wow. Yeah, after you said, uh, the only caution is to go sideways. Well, he went sideways. Yeah, and no yellow. <laughs> no yellow. No yellow. Yeah, it was the only car off the track there, so... Corey, though, get a little bit of a gap here between yeah, him and Charlie. Almost a, almost a second lead, yeah, too. Thomas, Charlie Woods, Thomas Taylor, Jeff Hollingsworth are uh, E2 outside pole center, basically, up here in uh, that fourth position. He is down to the Pearson. inside of the 57. Oh, I thought, I thought Jeff was going to make a move there. Yeah, oh, he almost geez. tagged the 57 of Thomas there. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, oh, Jeff blinking out. Yeah, he is. He's blinking out again. Man. All right. Well, let's uh, kind of get up here to Thomas here. He's right in the middle of Charlie and Jeff. So we're going to stay on Thomas and see what happens. I know I can't forget about everybody else either, but I want to keep an eye on, of course, you know, the battles up front, the battles in the back. we got several battles, it looks like. Several little packs. The only one that's kind of by himself, it looks like, is our leader, Corey Moore. Uh, there goes Jeff up to P2. Yep, Jeff got back up to the P2 spot, right where he saw it started. I got a P2. Oh, what, what, what? <laughs> TMI. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> oh, I'm all about jokes here tonight. I'm all over it. All right. It looks like everybody, though, single file. For the most part, until you get back up here with the, well, the 40. Uh, 57, 31, 44, yep. they're all lined up right here, man, oh man, 30 to go, wait, yep. yeah, John Black and Chet, better late than never, John, hey John, how you doing there buddy, yeah, you made it, 111 <laughs> laps into the race, you're well, you're better late than never, John, you're fired, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. You can ask me about that, but we won't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we will talk about it. My <laughs> brother forgot uh, that we had a broadcast. He was watching yeah. ball games. And... I was, yeah, I was watching baseball last yeah. week, and yeah, for, totally forgot about a race. <laughs> oh, I my thought goodness. it was hilarious. I'm sitting here going, where's he at? Where's he at? So I ended up messaging him, hey, where you at? But within about five seconds, he was in Discord. Yeah. It's funny. We all forget. Yeah, I just I, had I, I got, mind occupied. Yeah, I got brain fog with my medicine, so, so <laughs> I've really got to, yeah, it's rough. Kevin Gunther up into fourth after starting tenth. Charlie back in fifth after starting third. Still got, you know, we got some laps still left, so, you know, we're not done. No. <coughs> Vinny, though, weird. looking to the inside of the 53, but, man, it is so hard to pass. Looks like PK, oh, did PK have another moment? Oh, no, he is uh, hey. coming down pit oh. road here, it looks like. Oh. oh, man, can you check on the 96, see what happened? He's got some back damage, I know yeah, that. looks like he's got some right, uh, right side damage, too. I believe he might have smacked the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. right that right front. Yeah, he might have, he might have. Uh, he's got two fast repairs yeah, left, so. he, he might have kissed the wall just a little bit too much. Hopefully there was no tongue in the wall. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to see if he uses a fast yeah, repair. I suspect he probably would. Yeah, he might. I mean, he is one lap down, and a fast repair he did. is being used. Yep, he did. Here comes our leader, Corey Moore, around. That's probably going to put PK another lap down. But, you know, with this, with this happening right here so late yep, into did. the race, you know, all PK's really got to do is just stay out. You know, we don't have to pit. He can get, you know, one, maybe both of his laps back if we get a yellow. I I know who's not wanting a yellow right now. It's probably that 45 of Corey Moore. Now, Jeff is coming up on him pretty quickly at about a half a second down behind him. And then Kevin, who started in 10th, is up into third. We could uh, have a battle of Thomas. Not too bad right here. Yet, fourth started in eighth, but... 
John. 44 is to the inside. It looks like Zerke is going to make the pass over the 57. Dave may try it now. Big bond, it's time, though, is that 70 of Vinny May Estes. Let's see what Vinny does here. Less than 20 to go coming up. How do you keep forgetting? If you're subscribed to Max Speed TV and you hit that little bell, you won't forget. It'll notify you when you go live. Just go get up. <laughs> Hit that, hit that little bell, you know. Go get up and ding when Max B TV goes live. Yeah. Just keep out there, John. Please, uh, thank you all for tuning in here tonight. We do appreciate it. Eight likes, seven watching. Thank you all again. Coming to lap 120. Cool. Yeah. Uh, 21 more laps. So next time by will be the 20 to go mark. Jeff has caught the back bumper of Corey. Yep, Kevin at about... I was going to say about a half a second here, roughly, and that's what it is. Behind Jeff. Uh, man, we could uh, man, we could have three wide for the win here. Oh, Jeff looking to the inside. Yeah, Not going to be able to do it yet. 20 to go. Jeff setting him up. Oh, yeah, he sure is. Yeah, Jeff pushing up a little bit too far there, too. All right, yeah, back in a second. Couldn't make it. Oh, he slid back up into the number two hole. Yep, here comes Kevin. And the 31, yeah, he's right there too. And 19 to go. All Corey's got to do is just hold Jeff back. He can't yep. leave that door open. I think it went up just oh. a little bit too hot. Oh, the door open. If he scrapes the wall, he's done. Here comes Jeff. Here yep, comes Jeff Kevin. Take him. Yep. Jeff back up Jeff front. Kevin looking for the pass over the 45. Oh, man, I think Corey might have burnt his tires up. Oh, that, that wouldn't uh, be good. Uh, Corey's been out. I don't know how long Corey's been out here. Says 51 laps. 51 laps. Yep. Wow. Yep, so is Charles Woods and John Anderson. Mm. Oh, so. 45. Oh. The wall. Yeah, that's not what we wanted to see. I, I didn't have to reset ATVO, uh, well, so. that's good. At least you have that. Man. Yep. 17 laps to go. Ke Kevin up into Kevin, second. Yeah, Kevin overtook uh, Corey there. Yep. And here comes the 44 of John Zerke. Zerke! He, he may. He may oh! He's gonna, oh he, Corey into the wall. He's going to lose a lot of positions. Vinny's going to pass him. Yep, here comes the 53. Uh, hey. Dave's going to pass him, too. Uh, Looks like it. He might, yeah, man. Just burned his tires up. Been yep. out there way too long. You know. Uh, 53 laps. Hey, you got you gotta. I mean, you gotta do something. You, you can't have really the same strategy as everybody else. You gotta try something new. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was the 44. The 44. Yeah. I seen that too. Yeah, I just seen him go way down. I was like, wait a minute, what, what is going on here? <laughs> Vinny trying to get his third straight win, but well, I don't know if he's going to got 15 laps to do it. Yeah, and he is about, he's only a second back behind yep. Jeff, so. Man, oh, man. Well, Jeff, our uh, outside pole sitter, like I said, he is up front again. He's led 60 laps here. The only other driver to lead, uh, you know, Dave Hunt's led 22. Corey Moore's led 29. Uh, I think that's all. Oh, wait, no. Uh, just missed somebody. Who was that? Charlie has led nine. So, you know, I think Charlie. Austin. Austin didn't, unfortunately, lead any. He's out of the yeah, Austin's done. Yeah. And Jordan Berry called it about 130 laps ago. <laughs> yeah, and he's Jordan. 92 laps down. <laughs> like John's on pit road here. Man, oh man, I think John can make it. He probably had to come down pit road. John who? John uh, Anderson. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's Let's coming back out. So, oh, oh, yeah. okay, okay. Well, that's going to put him uh, two laps down. Doesn't take long. Here we go. The 70 Vinny Mayestas battle oh, for the lead. Oh, my goodness. 
Are you kidding Are me? Are you kidding? I'm just making the same thing. <laughs> Man. It's good. It ain't over. Jeff's well, right there. We've, we've already Jeff, seen these two go at it. So Jeff's been out there 42 laps compared to Vinny's 34. Oh, so, tire difference. Yep. Man. Well, did yep. Jeff, Vinny's got the better tires. Did Jeff save enough? Oh, I don't think Jeff oh. saved enough. Oh, Jeff is in trouble. Oh, yeah. He's, man, that's going to allow the 44 to get around. Looks like. Well, not yet. No, but it won't be long again. Jeff back into third. Yep. Man. 44 of John Zerke up into second. Kevin Gunther yep. here in fourth. Dave Hunt rounding out the top five, and that's going to put it nine to go. John hey. zigzagged his way to second. <laughs> yeah, he, he ain't too much. He put some jerky in that 44. Yeah. Yep. But I have to check that number 44's card. What kind of what kind of jerky he used? Sorry, John. He got he got he's got jerky juice in Jer that gas. Jerky thing. juice, yeah. <laughs> jerky juice. We're gonna have to use. It. Oh, Jeff, blink it out again. Hang on. That's to not it. good. Hang on to it, Jeff. Coming into tonight, of course, Jeff taking over the points lead by eight over PK. PK not having the best of night here. He is back in 14th, two laps down. What did you say, uh, Vinny was? Vinny, point standing. Vinny is in uh, one, two, fourth. Fourth, okay. He is 40 points behind Jeff. He wins tonight. He might no, catch. No, because Jeff's right here in third. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Jeff already got a stage. Vinny didn't. Oh, that's right. So that's right. that's going to help out Jeff in the longer run. Those stage points, man, they... <laughs> yeah, I forgot yeah, about the stage. Those, man, they come in handy. But, oh... Uh, Looks like Dave Hunt, Kevin Gunther, Lonnie Barrington. Ooh, Lonnie a little bit too far back here. So that is Kevin, Dave. They're coming up on. Ooh, there is the 96 right there of PK. Uh, not for position, but I think no. PK's trying to run down either his teammate or run down the 70. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be five to go here at the line. Can we finish it out? Under regulation here tonight. Ben, uh, Benny is hoping so. Benny, yeah, I think Benny's hoping so. <laughs> of course, I do believe if we get a yellow for a GWC attempt, we're going to see everybody come down pit road. You know, tires yeah. are going to be so important here, and everybody would be back on the, the level playing field. Yep. You just don't want to be involved in a yellow. You know, right. if you're John, Jeff, Dave, Kevin, Lottie, you know, Daniel, those on the lead lap, Bob, Corey, um, Charlie, Thomas, you know, if you're on the lead lap, you really don't want to be involved in one. Um, yeah, if any not looking here to for a yellow, as he's going to take the three to go here. I think Jeff, yep. I, I think everything's pretty much lined out. Now here comes PK, though, to the inside of the 44. That is not for position. Uh, John just let him go by. We're going to see here, yep. three to go. It'll be two to go here at the line. How long has Vinny been out here now this time by? Vinny, he's, uh, he's out to 42 right now. Well, that'll be 43 there with the update. Yep, 43. Just just changed to 43. So 43 laps. That'll be 45 if everything holds together for Vinny. I'm, I'm thinking it. Well, hey, I ain't going to say it. Forget it. Shot because we still have two laps left. <laughs> yeah. So, the, the only uh, battle, close battle, we got between the 8, 5, and 30, 33 is at the 93. 93. 93. So, uh, that's right, the only. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, lap. one to go. One to go. That's kind of in Vinny's hands right now in the mellow yellow 70. He won round two. Round number three last week, diving it down into turn number three here tonight. The number 70 of Vinny Bayestis is going to cross the stripe here tonight. Back, two back, to back two back. To back, wow. Wow. <laughs> three straight now, that's a first for me. Wow, Vinny Bayestis. John Zerke is going to grab the P2 spot. Jeff Hollingsworth is going to round out the top three. That is our podium finishers here tonight. Dave Hunt in the fourth spot. Kevin Gunther fifth.
But I, Benny Maestas, man, wow! We need, new, we need a new winner next week. I'm tired. I'm tired of typing Benny's name. <laughs> I just copy and paste it. So you know. I do. I do too. I'm just giving him a hard time. That is excellent, man. man. All right. Well, hang on just a little bit, folks. We're gonna get the top three down here for the Max Speed TV post race show. Uh, give us just a few minutes. We will be right back. Well, alrighty, folks. Well, I was hoping to catch up with our top three here, but Vinny's not in TeamSpeak, and uh, Jeff apparently did not want to be interviewed. So I will respect their decisions and uh, let them, you know, do what they need to do. So we have caught up, though, with our P2 finisher here tonight. That is going to be John Zerky. I call him Jerky just out of fun. Sorry, John. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no problem. You know, I mean, it's just all in fun with us. We just try to have a good time. But the Milwaukee 44, man, you led four laps. You started ninth. You figured out some way to get up here in that P2 spot here tonight. Uh, you did have to use two of your three fast repairs here this evening, unfortunately. But, you know, kind of talk about the overall race. And, I mean, we've seen it here tonight, no the less. But, man, talk about the the battles out there that everybody did have and, you know, the close calls. And what just really happened? Yeah, I felt like a, a jerky there for three quarters <laughs> of the race. That that last run was like a completely different race, you know, for, you know, once everyone got going. And, uh, you know, I let Kevin go. I was just trying to be easy on the tires. Um, I was able to get him back. And I think I had fresher tires than a couple of the other guys. I know Vinny was coming up behind me, and I knew he was quicker anyway. I, I never really had top five speed from practice qualifying the race or whatever. I just was, you know, I'd gotten track position the way I had arranged my pit stops and everything like that. Um, but I don't think I could have held off Vinny, but I did get loose a little bit, and he got around me. And then, you know, I followed him up, up to second, and that was the best I could do. And that by that point, too, I was starting to – uh, get a little loose off the corners, and I'm like, okay, I've done enough spinning for tonight. <laughs> Just make sure I get second, because 
yeah, I mean, I finished second way more than I wanted to in the Tuesday night league. Um, that's been frustrating, but I'll take a second in cup and at this racetrack, especially the way the race started. I thought I'd be lucky to finish in the top 15 the way it was starting. I thought I was going to run out of fast repairs. I think I used two of them in 40, 50 laps, maybe. I mean, wow. it, <laughs> it was rough. Yeah. Uh, it was a rough start. Um, and I think the only one had a rougher start than me was Kevin, so he was taking all the yeah. attention probably. Yeah, we, uh, we, we noticed Kevin was, was having, a, 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 you know, some moments out there. You know, Kevin, he usually doesn't have any, you know, a lot of a lot of issues. Very good driver. And I'm not saying you're not a good driver, but, you know, when, when Kevin's having problems, something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. Uh, my grandpa told me to never, a craftsman never blames his tools, but uh, I was thinking my car was broken or something because, <laughs> like, it was just, and then what really stinks is that you don't feel like you can control, you know, the brakes lock or you just give it a little bit too much correction and the thing snaps around on you. Yeah. Like, it's, you know, there were some guys that had, I mean, I had a couple saves where I really had to lock it down pretty good but um austin had a couple saves that i was like oh man I, I was just expecting him to come right in front of me um but obviously there was a lot of a lot of carnage more cautions than we usually get yeah. in this league but uh it just goes to show you how tricky that track was yeah yeah man y'all had y'all had a handful out here tonight you know and you know i know we had a few drivers out there here tonight you were probably getting upset a time or two you know i don't know i wasn't down there but i would say it was probably you were starting to feel it um, you know, I know probably several other drivers out there was not having, you know, a very, they might've been having an okay race, but it was just upsetting, you know? So. Well, you know, it was like a deal. Um, I got in a couple, you know, where I got collected, um, uh, PK, I think got into me, but I just, you, you don't get mad in these cases. Cause you know, it's, I, I don't know what happened to him, but yeah. even if he just lost it and got into me, it was like, you know, you it, no everyone's, reaction. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so I don't, you know, I know nobody really wrecks each other on purpose anyway in this league, which is what I like. But also, given tonight, you just kind of had to like, yeah. you know, you had to let it slide yeah, a little bit because everyone was hanging in there. Just grit your teeth and let it go. <laughs> well, you know, we got a bigger track next week, though. Um, you know, I Pocono? Yeah. Pinoc Ooh. Pinocchio, that's what I call it. Pinocchio. Pinocchio, yeah, yeah, that's that's what I call it. Because if you look at it, it looks like Pinocchio's nose the way, the way it's shaped. <laughs> the tricky triangle. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we go to Pocono next week. Uh, you know that track is tricky. That's why they call it the tricky triangle. A lot bigger than Iowa. Uh, drafting probably gonna play a little bit of a factor there. Uh, because of just how big it is, man. That front stretch, you know. If you're behind somebody, you definitely can get the draft, but going into the corners could be some arrow, man. Talk about it. Yeah, you know, I did run the the next-gen uh, DRS Cup race at Pocono once. I do kind of remember that. Um, and I like Pocono in general, and obviously usually you shift there. And with this car, I think definitely will be shifting, I would imagine. But uh um, yeah, it, it, what's tough there is if you, if you start to lose your, your tire, you don't take care of your tires or, or if you get just a little bit of front end damage or something and turn three starts to get really tight, you lose a little bit of ground. And then by the end of the front straightaway, you're like miles behind. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes you'll see somebody just check out their, uh, restarts are, are a blast there though. Um, especially if you can back up like the tunnel turn you can fly through there and get a good run off of there. Uh, restarts are, are, are really fun. I like Pocono in general because it's um, tricky, I guess. <laughs> so, well, well, man, um, I mean, but it's fun. Yeah. 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 I mean, it is the tricky triangle. It is. I mean, there could be some great, I've seen some great racing at that Pocono. Uh, then I've seen not so great racing in my tenure of broadcasting at Pocono. So, uh, you know, I, all I know, I will say we better not have that many cautions because caution <laughs> laps at Pocono take a long time. So it's, hopefully it's cleaner than, than, than tonight. Yeah. But, um, yeah. 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 Pace, pacing around Pocono is about as bad, about as bad as pacing around Indianapolis or Talladega. Yep. Yeah. So, 
yeah, it, it, it does take a while to get around the track. But, you know, we got, you know, several races left to go here. But I know P2 finish not for you. Good points, not. Uh, looking at the, uh, the top 16 here. Uh, you're not in the top 16 as of yet. I don't know. Uh, the points will probably be updated probably tomorrow. Uh, or maybe sometime late tonight. We'll see what happens there. But good points not for you here, bud. Uh, you know, any, you know, final thoughts, shout outs, thanks you want to give before you, uh, go celebrate your P2 and, of course, get ready for Pocono next week. Uh, well, good. Uh, thanks to you guys for, for doing the broadcast. Thanks to the, the admins and, uh, you know, Terry and Mike and, um, Bob and everybody for running the league and doing the setups. And I'm, I, you know, I think the setups, despite our trouble especially when we got to that long run uh it showed that it was it, it stayed pretty good um i i just think it was always going to be a challenge <laughs> no matter what setup you had so uh yeah i'm not being critical of that i think it was uh i think it did really good and um so yeah i just appreciate being able to race with you guys and um yeah um uh, We'll, we'll guess, I guess we'll get back at it next week. Well, gather yourself. Just put Iowa behind you and, you know, get ready for Pocono, bud. Awesome P2 here tonight, man. We'll see you next week. All right. Take it easy. Too, All right. Well, that is John Zerke here in the P2 spot. Like I said, Vinny Maestas in the mellow yellow number 70. Uh, winning it here tonight. Dave, ha uh, Dave Hunt. Uh, Jeff Hollingsworth in the third position let's see here if i can get um, a better view here tonight we're going to go ahead and get down here on the unofficial results pending the admin stuff they have to do here tonight uh so vinnie may yes describe the win out here tonight again congratulations back to back to back wins on vinnie may with uh, vinnie may Estes here in the number 70 john zerke there in second jeff hollingsworth in the third spot, Dave Hunt fourth, Kevin Gunther fifth, Lottie Barrington sixth, Bob LaCavara seventh, Daniel Williams in eighth, Corey Moore ninth, and Charlie Woods tenth, Thomas Taylor in eleventh, Hanover fifth, twelfth, Mike Whitaker thirteenth, Paul Crumrai fourteenth, John Anderson in fifteenth, Kristen Perrine sixteenth, Austin Williams seventeenth, and Jordan Berry in eighteenth. Fred Williams did not start here this evening. So our winner again here tonight is Vinny Mayestis here at the Downforce Racing Series, round number four here at Iowa of season 14. Tomorrow night, the Friday Night Beer League will battle it out for the championship at Daytona. That will be at 8.45 Eastern, 7.45 Central, starting right here on Max Speed TV. 100 grueling laps, and it's all going to come down to seven drivers who can finish ahead of the other. They do not have to win the race, and you don't want to miss it. It should be interesting, but that's going to do it for myself and Max P TV. A shout out to Bob <coughs> Hanover. Mike Whitaker and all the advans over here at Downforce doing what they do to put on a great series over here. A shout out to my brother for coming out here and calling the race here with me tonight. Shout out to all the fans out there that tune in each and every week. We do appreciate it. Eight likes here tonight. Thank you all again. But until tomorrow night, stay safe. Thank you all again and have a good night.